So let's pull some cards for Monday and do a tarot teaching video combined. It's the Queen of Cups, which we've gotten before. Go back in. Just because we got it before. Um, chariot. which just came up on new 106 today when I was deciding to do this and setting this up uh, came on shuffle and it's number seven exhibit paparazzi but number seven came up which is the chariot the eight of pentacles prudence once again sun in virgo this again, four of discs, ace of pentacles again, it's come up like three times now, last couple days. Luxury, Four of Cups, and Nine of Pentacles gain. This is a uh, Sans Souci card. And the Ten of Pentacles. So we'll go with those. Which I think we've gotten the Ten of Pentacles before, but that's okay. It's right after the Nine, so... The Nine of Discs gain Venus and Virgo, you saw in six discs. Stamped with the pictures of the deities of the planets, form two equilater equilateral triangles, and the remaining three are interlaced in the middle. These, with their beams of light, show a condition in which chance and management give an increasing good fortune. That's the second time I've heard the word management in the last um 10 minutes really um so just stands out to me so the 10 of discs wealth mercury in virgo malkuth the discs have now definitely become coins and are arranged on the tree of life they are stamped with different renderings of the signs of mercury this mercurial signature is intended to show that Though they appear solid, they are in reality fugitive. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that it means um, four of cups. Right here. Luxury, moon, and cancer. And the chariot is also connected to cancer. So we have a lot of mercurial, a lot of Cancerian energy, um, chessed, the roughened surfaces of the sea on which the cups are, cups and the lotus are balanced, explain that the elements of excess have entered into love. So where are you being excessive in love? I guess. That is something you're doing. Chariot. This is more like the symbology side, so I'll read this and then see. Um, the Chariot, Cancer, Cheth. Held by the charioteer is the cup of Indian, Egyptian, and Arthurian tradition, and it contains blood of voluntary sacrifice. The charioteer spirit, which is in parentheses spirit, is seated in the chariot the body and is drawn by sphinxes who represent the 16th sub elements of the emotions um, 
concerns. The, spor the four sphinxes on this card drawing the charioteer are the bull, the lion, the eagle, and the man. The wheel, the whole representing the 16 sub elements. Those are also the animals that are associated, you know, man associated with. Um, the world card. Um, the function of the charioteer is to bear the holy grail in the center of which is the radiant blood symbolizing the presence of light and darkness. say too much more. Um, discs are arranged in equilateral, equilateral triangle of the three apex upwards surrounded by a ring. Six larger discs form a hexagon. Another hexagon signifies multiplica multiplication of the original word, the mingling of good luck and good management. So just a lot of how you have, what you have to say, and I feel like it is going to be um, talking a lot about the emotions and feelings and um, things like that, um, since cancer rules all those kinds of things. So anyways, I hope that that was helpful and insightful and clarifying if you are learning the tarot and or just refreshing like I am and um, wanting to learn the different symbols and all that which is really interesting so I hope that you got something from that and that you have a great Monday. Bye!